everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101 out here shooting some videos today. And I had a thought earlier today uh, as I was looking at the things that I had coming up and I thought it might make for a good discussion and possibly even like a tag style video to see what other people's uh, opinions are. When it comes to the things that we review, we get a lot of, uh, you know, there, there's basically two schools of thought in any given audience and that is budget or premium and it doesn't matter if we if we do a budget video the premium people won't be happy if we do a premium video the budget people won't be happy so that got me thinking and that is out of the the most important tools that we commonly show or review or the most important tools that you would have if you were building some sort of emergency kit be it a bug out bag you know s hit the fan uh, survival whatnot it's like what are the three items that you should not skimp on meaning the, you know with other stuff yeah you could get by with getting something less expensive or whatnot but what are like the three things that you should make it a point to search out and find you know the best possible version of it that you can so I'm gonna give you I had to think about this you know one of them is obvious but I had to think about this for a minute so I'm gonna give you what my three are and why and then not only in the comments section can we hear what you think but you know maybe some other youtubers will pick this up as well so if you want to find out what my three items are, don't go away. Okay, so item number one, the one that I think everyone could probably guess because I said one of them is going to be obvious. That is your primary knife. Today I have my Jasmine. I believe that if you're making a serious kit, that your knife should be one of those items that you should not skimp on. And all, and that really depends, and this isn't just, we're not talking about common use here. We're not talking about, oh, I just go out every once in a while and it works fine for me and my, you know, my $30 this does everything that your $200 that can do. Fact of the matter is, knife is the oldest and most useful tool in all of human history. It's one of those tools that you really cannot live without. It's one of those tools that's going to do the most for you. And it is a simple fact that premium knives made of premium materials and premium steel uh, in smaller batches and more controlled conditions outperform and outlast, you know, less expensive production models. It's a simple fact. Uh, you go across, you look across the internet, you look around YouTube and you see the fail videos. Nine times out of ten, it's a production knife and it's a it's a more common uh, less exotic steel like 1095 or something like that you do not see those types of videos with the higher higher production like CPM 3v knives and a lot of the objections to these sort of things are pretty much erroneous such as 3v is harder to sharpen well, it is if you let it get all the way down to a butter knife and then you try to resharpen it. But that's not the knife's fault, that's your fault. If you got a 3V knife and a ceramic rod and you touch it up with a couple swipes after every, every use, you're never going to have that problem. You just aren't. It's not that, I don't have any problem whatsoever sharpening 3V. See, you know, S35, or yeah, S35VN gives me a lot more trouble than 3V does. But, in my, this is just my opinion, but the first of those three items should be your primary knife. The second item that I feel in your serious kit 
that you should not skimp on is going to be packs and bags. So we're talking backpack or some sort of big duffel type thing, whatever it is that you're going to put all your kit in, that's something that you should not skimp on. Now right here, I'm getting ready to do a video, I'll show you what I got. So this is the smallest pack in the Sabra line, which actually, you know, I brought out this other, the Sting that I did, which is one of my favorites. This one actually fits inside this one. But Sabra and VanQuest just happen to be my two favorite bag manufacturers, or bag manufacturers, and that's based on my experience. People like to try to fault us for that, but you know, I'm sure Mystery Ranch is great. I've never used a Mystery Ranch bag, so I can't speak to that. Everything that we talk about is gonna be due to our personal experience, and we don't ever say, well, this applies across the board. There's nothing better than this, just in our personal experience. But Will loves Sabra stuff, and Will's picky as hell, so. That right there is saying something. VanQuest, I think VanQuest has pretty much proven itself, you know, beyond all rational doubt. But your bags and your packs are important for two reasons. One, it has to be comfortable carrying it. Because if you have to hike a long ways, if you have to carry it over time, if it's causing you discomfort, if it's injuring you through repeated stress, then that's not really helping your situation at all. Secondly, bags and packs are made of material and stitching, and a lot of it, a lot of different points. And the simple fact is, if the bag fails, then you're gonna be carrying all your important gear like this. It's like, okay, I'm hiking, I got all my stuff because my cheap ass Walmart bag that I told everybody on the internet is just as good as your expensive bag fell apart. Either the bottom fell out or the zipper broke or the, the attachment point to the shoulder strap failed. If your bag fails you're screwed. So I get it some of these things are expensive and not everybody can just whip out their wallet whenever someone posts a video and run out and buy a two three hundred dollar bag. I get that. I understand that. Um, but it's something you need to be thinking about planning and preparing for long term. It's like this is one of those important things that needs to be good. It's got to be care it's got to be comfortable, it's got to fit me well, it's got to not be so big that I overload it and it wears me down and it's got to hold up. It should be weather resistant. It should if I throw it around all the time, it's not going to rip, tear apart, fall apart, anything like that. So the second item is bags and packs. Now for the third item, I had to really think about this because I mean there's a lot of important things that go into a kit. You know, medical kit needs to be good, your shelter needs to be good, your fire start, you know, there's a lot of things that need to be good, but are there affordable options for all those things that can be good enough? So what I chose for the third item that you should not skimp on is a quality multi-tool. And here is why I came up with that decision. This does not count as a knife, even though they have knives in them. Your multi-tool is going to be your probably one of your biggest problem-solving items. I mean, with all the tools that is in this Leatherman Wave or this Victorinox, uh, Swiss champ That's a lot of problem solving Your kydex sheath starts to loosen up or fall apart. You got to repair something you got to cut a band. I mean there's literally endless things That you're going to run into that these tools are going to solve for you and the reason I chose these is because in my experience the budget the less expensive multi-tools always fail to impress they just do not live up in performance to the their better counterparts 
So we're talking about stuff that is like $70 and up. So 70 to 100 plus. So for the good, uh, you know, Swiss Champ style knives or the good Leathermans, the stuff that you can rely on, uh, that matters. Now everybody's got a fail story here and there. It's, it's something with a lot of moving parts. But in my experience, good Leathermans are going to have the better wire cutters, the better pliers that break less often. I mean, even though like the Gerber Center Drive, which is one that I like, I don't have it anymore, but I thought it was a good one. I've seen people post pictures of the jaws breaking. It's like, how do you F that up? That's like the most important part of the tool. Now granted, the pliers on the Swiss Champ are not anything like that. There are a lot of other types of tools, smaller tools in here that you're not gonna find uh, in this. And it's a little bit more compact and carryable, so you're more likely to have it on you. But bottom line is, Whatever multi-tool that you think is most suited to you, it should be a good one. Not an Ozark Trail. Not one of the base model Gerbers or base model Leathermans that cost $30. You want to make sure that that tool is going to perform as good as it possibly can and it's not going to fail. Because these things are going to do the most for you. Now are there other items out there that one could make an argument for you probably shouldn't skimp on this? Yeah, I'm sure there is and that's why I want to hear from the people in the comment section and that's why I would like you know the YouTubers out there that watch this video to take it upon themselves to tag themselves especially if they have uh, different items than what I chose or the same items but different reasons than what I stated and that's just something uh, I think it's something that gets your brain moving gets you thinking about it and when you have these discussions and you look at these reasons then you also understand why we spend more time reviewing the better versions of these tools and not just you know the basic uh, El Cheapo ones you know, there's other things. I love a good quality flashlight. Can I get by with a $20 one from Walmart? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of flashlights out there th that are real that'll get you by just fine. Um, as opposed to a $70, $80 flashlight. I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there like that. So, what is it that you think? So that's my topic for today. Hopefully it was something uh, useful, something to get you thinking, and I want to hear what everyone else has to say. Thanks for watching. Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Uh, I'll be back with another video here soon. All the links that help support the channel are in the description box below. So see you next time.